about to pick up some trailers so we can get them loaded and get ready to go again. Same month. Same month. My birthday was the 25th. 
faith is really strong and that's a big reason that you're able to do what you do. Please. 
one pulling against the other, they're not going to not gonna get any work done in the field. You got to have both of them pulling in the same direction. Yeah, because the Bible talks about a house divided, it can't stand. It cannot stand. So, and they don't, number one, see, see the man, see, well, a lot of times, which I don't believe in, anyway, break that up. I'm just going to say what the word said. Number one, the man is the head of the house. That was God's law. That was not, that, that wasn't Douglas's law. Right. God said that. That's how he set That's it up. That's how he set it up. And he set it up in comparison to his kingdom and how his kingdom is set up. And we're supposed to. He didn't set it up for me to just usurp the party on my wife or just treat her any kind of way. I'm the head, I'm the bottom. No. God didn't say that. I was, I'm responsible. But man, that's mean that I'm responsible for whatever goes on in the house. Mm -hmm. She's not responsible for it. That man is. And he's the one who's responsible for it. But I think a lot of women think that that diminishes them it does. It does. because yeah, a man voice. has authority over them. You should have more responsibility. <laughs> that's yeah. yeah, I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> I don't want that responsibility because when you stand before God, what goes on in that home is gonna fall on that man. So you know, man. it's oh, gonna fall on If the law comes down, who he wants to see? The man. The man. Right. Because the man is the one who's in charge. Right. But anyway, we're not gonna stay on that subject. No, don't think we touch it.
and he says, well, I want to deal with you, but I don't want to have nothing to do with your wife. He says that's the same way God would feel. You would be offended because the church is God's bride. And then for people to say, well, I want to be in relationship with God, but I don't want to have nothing to do with his bride, which is the church. That's offensive to God because the bride is the church. You see what I'm saying? And so I say just honor God and do what he said do and let him take care of his preachers that are not doing right, his leaders in the church that don't do right. That's not our responsibility. One thing about it, God is big enough to take care of his He's business. He's big enough to take care don't of his worry business. About God's business. You do what you're supposed to do because ultimately, you're gonna have to be the one who's gonna give an account. And my thing is, you'll get something out of the service. But the thing is, what you bring into the service, the Bible says to enter into his courts with praise and thanksgiving, and all that. So when you come in, you bring in praise, you bring in thanksgiving, you bring an offering, you know what I'm saying, unto God. And that's your responsibility. And we don't do that. I mean, that's the least we can do, right? And um, so I say, yeah, go to church. But um, so you were talking about um, husbands not taking their leadership role and going to church. This is where we're going. 